Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to answer a question one of our viewers had regarding WooCommerce. What are the top five WooCommerce plugins that you recommend and why? WooCommerce is something that definitely works a lot better with plugins. In fact, I don't think I've ever just installed WooCommerce on a site without also adding additional plugins. There's just things that WooCommerce doesn't do in the box that require additional add-ons to make it work better. The problem really is that not all plugins for WooCommerce are created equally, and the more plugins you start to add to your site, the slower it can be, and it can really affect performance. So you want to make sure that you're using high quality plugins that really can do a bunch of different things instead of installing plugins to do every one-off thing that you need to do. So here are five plugins that I recommend adding to your WooCommerce site to make it better. The first plugin is Elementor. And if you've been around here for a while, you know that we love Elementor Pro here. We use it to build all of our client websites, including WooCommerce sites. It really makes it a lot easier to customize your WooCommerce shop pages, your product templates, and your checkout process. So I highly recommend installing Elementor to create any kind of website, but especially WooCommerce websites. JetWoo Builder is another plugin that I recommend adding on to your WooCommerce. This is a plugin by Crocoblock, and if you know us, you know that we love Crocoblock as much as we love Elementor. Crocoblock plugins are super versatile, but they work really well with Elementor. So you do need to have Elementor in order to get this to work the way that you want it to work. But with JetWoo Builder, you can really take that customization to the next level. They offer tons of different widgets, tons of different options to let you do some really cool things on your WooCommerce pages. Jet Smart Filters is another Crocoblock plugin that I totally recommend. If you have a lot of products on your site, you probably want some advanced filtering or search options. It just makes the overall user experience a lot easier. And this will definitely make the process of creating those filters a lot less cumbersome. We've used Jet Smart Filters on several client websites and it's really helped us create a better user experience for those sites. So I highly recommend this plugin. Happy Files is another plugin that I don't just recommend for WooCommerce sites, but any site that has a lot of images. But with WooCommerce sites, there generally is tons of images because you're uploading sometimes several images per product. One thing that's kind of annoying about WordPress is their media library. When you upload things to the media library, it just goes into one big folder. So if you ever have to make edits and try to find an image, it can be really annoying because you have to scroll through maybe thousands of images. But with Happy Files, they get sorted into folders, making the process a lot easier. You can click on a specific folder and find images for that specific product or that specific category. It really makes your life a lot easier and I totally recommend it. Happy Files is a free plugin, but they also have an upgraded pro version. With the pro version, you get unlimited folders, and with the free version, you only get 10. So if you need to create a ton of different folders for your images, I do recommend getting the pro version because you can create as many as you want. But if you only need up to 10, the free version might work just fine for you. No matter how optimized your website is, people still might abandon their cart, which is why I totally recommend installing the abandoned cart plugin. This plugin will hopefully help you get back some of that lost revenue. It captures users' emails in the checkout process, and if they do abandon their cart, it will email them to give them a nudge to complete their order. It's great for marketing purposes, and this is a totally free plugin, so I highly recommend adding it to your WooCommerce site. That's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. And if you have any additional questions about WooCommerce, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them in a future video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.